I'm Dermot Finch and I'm Chief Executive of the Centre for Cities. This Cities Manifesto sets out what Centre for Cities thinks the next government should be doing to help all cities in the UK over the next five years. Let us know what you think. One of the key features of this Cities Manifesto is our call for greater financial powers for all cities. We've been calling for years for business rates to be passed back from central government back to local government and that's a real centrepiece of this manifesto, relocalising the business rate. The budget recently said that urban policy is going to have to take account of the different characteristics, the different prospects of each city. And that's right, but that's going to be difficult to do. This manifesto identifies three broad types of city in the UK. The first is buoyant cities, cities like Reading and Milton Keynes. They've got a strong private sector business base and they've got high skilled workers. The challenge for them over the next parliament is going to be building the new homes and the new infrastructure that they need. The second type of city is what we call struggling cities, places like Stoke and Burnley that have been losing private sector jobs for well over a decade and they have low skilled workers in their population as well. The challenge for them is what is their sort of realistic transition going to be? And the third category is our biggest cities outside of London, so Greater Manchester, the Leeds city region and Greater Birmingham we say, and we've said for a long time, they should be going for metro mayors, directly elected mayors for the whole conurbation with real financial powers. For buoyant cities, we're calling for new financial incentives to help them build the new homes and the new infrastructure that they're going to need. For struggling cities, we're calling for really a refocused effort on regeneration probably focusing more on upskilling people than building more shiny new buildings. For our biggest city regions outside of London, for Birmingham, Leeds and Manchester city regions, we want to see directly elected metro mayors with real financial powers.